What is up people? Today we have an exclusive release. Got these in just before they're about to be released. If you look on your confirmed app now, you will see them ready for you to participate in. What am I talking about? I am talking about the Yeezy Foam Runners in the Okra colorway. Let's get into this. What is up, people? It is your boy, it is your brother from another mother, aka the Lifestyle Surgeon, aka Dr. Vassell, aka Wayne. I like to say, welcome to Crep Check, where you guessed it, we check out everything crep related. You get me? Today is no different. As you have seen from the title screen, we are looking at the Yeezy Foam Runners in the Okra colorway. Let's get into it. For me, I'm really excited. This is the first pair of foam runners that I've copped. I have heard amazing things about just how comfortable they are and just how like edgy, like I have to give it to Yeezy. They push the boundaries and they have pushed the boundaries out with this sneaker. I don't even know if I can call it a sneaker. Is it like a, a, a sandal? Who knows? But let's take a look. As you know, I like to do on Crep Check, we start at the box and I must say, this is different. This box is just a cardboard box. To all intents and purposes, if you're looking from the outside of this box, you could be fooled that this just has miscellaneous stuff in it. Doesn't look like a sneaker box at all until you get to the tag and the tag says Yeezy Foam Runner UK 12. I'll go on to talk about why it's a UK 12 because if you guys are subscribers to my channel, you will know that I'm a size 11. And notice it's in the Okra colorway. And there you go, you can see on the size tag. Boom. Super excited. So let's open up together, let's see what this is about. Ooh. So when we pop the hood, love it. So what Yeezy has done with this box is he's kind of just flipped it. So whereas our, we may have become accustomed, you guys can see, the details of the box are on the outside. Here, he's just flipped it on its head. So the details now lie within the box. So we have foam, as you can see there. And I'll get it out to show you once I get out the sneakers, but it says RNNR, their abbreviation for runner. So you guys can see there. Oh, but I'll show you in a moment. So when we open the box, we're greeted by this brown-ish tissue paper. And then when we flip it over, re-reveal the okra colorway I'm ripping up the box so let me put these to the side and if i take out the paper just to show you guys now because also at the bottom yeah complete spin on its head so you've got the foam and you've got the runner and then you've got the the, the size tag that we've become accustomed to so as you can see it says yeezy foam runner made by adidas and we have the item number GW3354, Okra, Okra, Okra. Ooh. I have a habit of calling these Okra because <laughs> it reminds me of a, a particular plant that um, the Caribbean is well known for eating, although it's not actually pronounced Okra, it's pronounced Oka. So before anybody comes correcting me, you're saying it wrong, you're saying it wrong. I know it's okra, forgive me. I just like calling it okra. It reminds me of the Caribbean. First impressions. What are my first impressions? My first impressions are, these are out here. They are incredibly futuristic. Like somebody had told me I would be owning a pair of these and wearing these, I would have laughed at them. But I must say, <laughs> they are interesting. I love the ideal of just saying, I'm going to rip up the manual and design what I'm going to design. And it shows in this, I'm just going to call it a sneaker. You know, it is futuristic, it's innovative, 
it's it's different and therefore I can see this being polarizing when you come out with something that is so different you're gonna create a marmite people love it or they hate it I don't think this is going to be an in-between kind of sneaker and you can now pick this up like I said if you look in your confirmed app for the recommended retail price here in the UK of £70 an absolute bargain if you manage to get it at £70 I have entered many a raffle for many of the different colorways and I have taken an L every single time. Now this aqua colorway had been planned to be released for such a long time and I've been waiting patiently. One thing that had me a bit nervous about the ochre colorway is that the rendered images that was online made this look orange. Now I'll, I'll flag up the images so you can see this doesn't look orange at all. I think it's a beautiful color. It's like very earthy, just really, really nice. Let me know what you people think in the comment section about these. Are you going to participate? Are you going to go into the dark, dark web if you take an L to cop these? What are my first impressions? My first impressions are I really, really like it. I love the colorway. And I think in comparison to the other colorways, which I'm gonna pop up so you can see, this for me is the best. I know I have it in my hand, so I'm always gonna say my one is best, but I, I really, really like it. It's not too loud, it's very, it has almost a mixture of two balances of colors. So it's very pastel, but also it does ever so slightly reflect the light. So you get a little bit of a shimmer from it. So it doesn't jump out. It's, it's, it's kind of moving across humbly, as humble as a sneaker, as out here as this could move. Now let's get formally into the review. So if we start anteriorly at this sneaker, you can see, or what I will say is the whole the whole of this sneaker is made of the same foam material from the sole to the upper. And that material does feel quite robust and does feel incredibly responsive. Even just pressing it under my fingers, I can feel it bouncing back underneath my fingers. And all I have heard and I can confirm about these sneakers is they are unbelievably comfortable. And they are, it is like I'm walking on clouds. Starting anteriorly at this sneaker, we can see the futuristic pattern that starts from the front. It reminds me of like a fighter jet or a bullet train. I don't know if that's the look they were going for, but it almost has a streamlined effect to it. Now they have called it the runner. I don't know if I would put these on and go for a run or a jog. I would though quite easily put these on and go for a nice leisurely comfortable walk. And I reckon you could wear these for hours and your feet would just be so, so comfortable. They would be thanking you. As we continue superiorly up this sneaker, you notice we start having this windowing, windowing that we find all over the body. I feel that gives it more of a, an alien-like look. And what that means is not only are your sneakers on show, but it also means your socks are on show. It's probably not gonna be the sneaker you're gonna wear if it's absolutely chucking it down outside. But on a lovely, summer's day or you know a nice cool day this would be a great great alternative to wearing sandals or flip-flops there are so many windows into the sneaker just meaning that air is going to travel through beautifully then as we come up to the most superior part of the sneaker you notice we have this inlet and this inlet is very unique in the sense that it's quite it's quite big it's very ovalish in shape which means that you know, a good proportion, the anterior portion of your foot would be on show, as well as most of your ankle. And as we look on the interior of the sneaker, we see these outpouchings and depressions it will not only give you grip, but they will also encourage airflow through the sneaker. And in addition, they will kind of aid the comfort. If we then come to the lateral aspect, which I will say is very, very similar to the medial aspect. So I'm not going to labor the points we have the same material that's throughout the sneaker like i said i love the way the window goes from small to medium to large so with this sneaker like i say another big factor is going to be what you're wearing on your feet and when i say what you're wearing on your feet i'm talking namely about socks so you're going to have to think about your sock game when you're wearing this sneaker now if i said sock game and you're raising your eyebrows like what's this guy talking about you know Almost, not as important, I'm not going to lie to you, but a very, very important feature of your sneaker game is your sock game. So it's important to choose the right pair of socks 
that go with this. Some people are braver than me and they would go without socks, you know, each to their own. Personally, not me. I don't think this material would bode well with sweaty feet. Then when we come to the outsole, the outsole again is very, very compressive. I don't know if you can see under my finger as I'm pressing, it's nice and soft, responsive. It bounces underneath just my finger, let alone when you're walking. The pattern is very futuristic, very alien-like, very innovative, and kind of is in keeping with the, the whole futuristic vibe of the entire sneaker. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. I must say, I really, really like these. I love the idea of taking what in intensive purposes when you really think about it it has been done before if we think about crocs you know this is this is what crocs are about but i like the idea of taking something that perhaps maybe is out there people didn't really put together if somebody said yeezy released a croc people have been like mm. but that's to all intents and purposes what they've done they've released the croc they've you know completely come at it with their own design their own their own idea their own ideology They've made it very futuristic and they've branded it very well. And I think because of that, these are just really, really nice. I'll be honest with you, you may struggle to get these or any of the Yeezy Runner foams at retail. They're very, very difficult to grab, but you've got to be in it to win it. If you like these, I would open the app up immediately with immediate effect and participate. If you're not in it, you can't win it. So also, as I mentioned at the beginning, why did I choose a size 12 when I'm a size 11? So these run small. So I would, if I was you, go for a size bigger than you are, just so that you can be in it nice and comfortable. I think if you go true to size, it may be just that little bit too tight. So my recommendation, just go a size bigger. What you're gonna see next are what these bad boys look like on feet. Do me a solid. If you've enjoyed this video, drop your boy a like. Your likes help me to grow this channel help me to continue to bring you this exclusive content. In addition, don't forget to subscribe. I have so many more sneakers to get through to show you guys, so much crep check news to get through. Like, let me show you. I've got these bad boys, you know, so many. <laughs> and also in addition, I've got to get through these. So subscribe so you don't miss those videos. Crep check crew, stay blessed. Life Surge, out. Love.